Hey guys, it's Steve. Be sure to like and subscribe. Um, today I'm going to talk a little bit about SNR. SNR is a store, okay? It's like a warehouse store that sells like bulk items. And yesterday I joined and I got to tour the place and check it out and see what it was all about. Um, for me, I got like one of the memberships there and I paid, I think it was like 700, 700 pesos and it was 1100 with, with my girlfriend added on. And I like it. I went in there, I went into the store. They have a SNR restaurant in there also where you can get like pizza and all that stuff. And when you get the, the SNR, SNR card, you also get 10% off at all their restaurants, which is really, really good. But the thing I liked about the place the most was this. In the Philippines, it's very difficult to get American foods. It's very difficult to get steaks, really good steaks, like grass-fed uh, beef, stuff like that. And this place had seafood in bulk uh it had frozen vegetables in bulk it had cakes it had all the almost all the american food you could dream of it even had um bread pre-mixed in a box and you just mix it up with water or whatever whatever it tells you to mix it up with on the box and you just throw it in the oven and i was very pleasantly surprised at some of the items that they had they also had big ticket items such as tvs refrigerators and i was here's the thing i was surprised about the refrigerators there they had really top of the line, nice looking refrigerators, like like the, the old retro style, the ones that look old. They had one of those there. I, I like that. It was like a red refrigerator. It almost looked like a Coke style refrigerator, um, except it what didn't say Coca-Cola on it, but it was red and it just looked like an old style refrigerator, but it was smaller. Okay. And it, you know, it was, it, was, it was a tinier refrigerator. It was like a half a refrigerator, but it was beautiful. and. It was really, really cheap. So I'm looking at all the items and I'm saying, you know, these items are way cheaper than what I expected. Now some people might say expensive, but you know, that's because they're Filipinos and they're looking at big ticket items and they don't get that much money. So they say that they're very dear, you know, when they're looking at like a $200 item or something like that. But I saw a lot of um, electric ovens in there and it's buy one, get one free at the entrance. And I think they were like six, 60 US or, 3,000 pesos, okay, which is a really, really good deal for for an electric oven. And they were really top of the line ovens. They look really nice, you know. And they all also had like an electric skillet for for cooking on a big one, okay, for like cooking steaks and vegetables. I believe that was like about I think it was um, 1,699 or something like that. I believe I, I could be wrong on that, so don't quote me on that. But I was looking at the items. They were really t top quality items there too. They had um, stuff for like outdoors. If you want to put like a swing outside in your yard or, or like a top notch high quality uh, umbrella and, and picnic table and chairs and stuff like that. Uh, really, really good quality. None of this cheap stuff. It was really expensive stuff. I went in there, I was looking at the clothing. Um, I was looking at the frozen goods. Um, Everything's expensive because you're buying in bulk, but over the because you're buying in bulk, you end up saving over the long term. So that's the thing about it. And you can get like candy in there, M and M's, a lot of American candies. You can also get some Korean foods and Chinese foods and Thai and Vietnam foods in there. You know, but the thing I liked the most in there was was seafoods. They had um, Alaskan king crab in there. It's a wee bit expensive, but they but you got a, a lot like I, like I said, you're buying large quantities, and it was like eighty dollars for a big huge bag of of Alaskan king crab, which is that's not a bad deal for Alaskan king crab because you're talking Alaskan king crab and that's a delicacy. But the the shrimp and stuff for their for the price was really priced very well. I thought I was looking through their fruits and vegetables and stuff. You could. It's the only place where I, I, I ever saw around here where you could buy a big bag of potatoes. And everybody knows in the Philippines it's hard to buy a big bag of potatoes, most places. I'm sure there's somebody out there that's going to say, no, I can buy five and ten pound bags at such and such. Well, maybe you can, like in, in Manila or Subic or Angeles or some of these places. But down here in Cavite, you buy potatoes like one by one and they, they weigh them out. Um, but I found all these items there and, and I was really, really, really... I really liked it, you know, I liked it a lot. Especially like looking through the clothing, the clothing was really good. They had um, buy one, get one um, towels there, really nice towels. Um, 
I think they were like about 400 and then for a top of the line towel you could get there for like um, 800 pesos but they're really really good you know with the high thread count and all that stuff and very plush and those buy those would buy one get one free also you know and I, I liked them they, they just the items that I was looking at there like I said very high quality um, what were some of the other things we looked at um, you can you can buy home items like cleaning supplies in bulk um, we were looking for pistachios there. They had big, huge bags of pistachios. They had both the shelled and unshelled um, cookies. They had cookies there in bulk. <clears throat> One of the things that they had there was like, um, you know, the mini apple turnovers and raspberry turnovers and strawberry turnovers, the tiny ones. I think they call, some people call them rugala or something like that. I think it, it's called or something like that. At least back where I was, they used to call them rugala or something like that. They were these little tiny like um, pastries and they they had them there and i bought a big thing of them they were like i think they're 169 for the raspberry ones and 269 for the apple ones and they were delicious you know and we ate those between like four of us we we ate the whole thing but by the time we got home by nightfall it was it was gone you know so it was like wow so there was some of the apple ones because the kids don't seem to like the apple ones i like the apple ones way better i think those are they take the more tastier but um they had those also, I found another place here up at Dasma Mall, um, and SNR, they're all over the Philippines, I guess. But anyway, I found a place up by the Dasma Mall, okay? And it's the French bakery inside the mall. And I wanted to mention this place too, because this, this place, the food is a, a wee bit expensive, okay? But I bought some bread in there, and I bought some pastries in there, and let me tell you something. The best pastries I've ever had and the best cookies, you, you pay a little bit more, actually a lot more, but they're very good. They're very high quality items. They're not like buying like chocolate chip cookies at S&M. You know, they're, they're very high quality, good tasting foods. And they also, you can eat there too. They have pizza there. Um, you can sit there and eat and the food's delicious. They have like a little place that serves all different types of foods there and stuff. And so it's a good little restaurant too to eat there if you want to eat some, you know, French style food. But they have all types of foods there. And but to get back to S and R, I gave that I, I give that place like about an A, not an A plus, but about an A. They could use a few more items in there, but most of the, the if you're looking for American items, one of the things I found was I could find I could find like burrito wrappers there, and they were reasonable and they were big. And we bought some and this morning we woke up and we had um, some breakfast burritos just like they have at McDonald's back in the United States. We cooked some breakfast burritos, really delicious. And I was, you know, very surprised at how, how the, the burrito bread tasted because it was delicious. And, you know, we, got, we did, the get, did get that burrito bread at S&R and it, it's, it's good. You could, you could make all different types of burritos and everybody knows if you're a burrito connoisseur, they have shrimp burritos they have chicken burritos and I, one of the other things that i bought there was um i bought some canned chili okay because i like chili and um, i'm not too fond of canned chili but i mean you can't it's hard to find chili around here and chili is also something you can use in a burrito if you put a little bit of rice in there or, and cheese and you just pour the chili stuff in there it's kind of messy but it, it, it tastes really really good when you when you put it in a burrito and you know I, I just can't say enough about the place. It's 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 actually about an hour away from me in Imus, I think they pronounce it that way. Anyway, we went over to Imus, it's about an hour away from us by bus. And it's what's good is the bus goes from the end of my street all the way there and then, then back. And so it's not like a big deal for me for as far as like switching vehicles and switching jeepneys and all that stuff. And, and also I'm in an air conditioned bus, so you know, the, the travel for the food you know, like if I buy any vegetables or anything there, it won't, like if I buy lettuce, it won't wilt or anything on the way back, which is excellent, you know? So I, I do like that, that aspect of it. But, you know, definitely join. And I think you'll, you'll really enjoy the place. When you walk in there to join, it takes about a half an hour to join and to get your cards. And then you just go in. And it's, I re highly recommend that you get one for you and somebody in your family. You know, like maybe your wife or even a friend or something like that because it's only 400 pesos more so if you have a friend 
and they want to join too, bring your buddy or whatever, another maybe another expat, and they can you can split the costs, you know, and you save yourself on on the the fee for joining or whatever. So that's just the way to do it. So it's like 1100, 1100 pesos, okay, for two people, okay. It's seven hundred for one, four hundred for the other. But if you split it, it's fifty what five thousand five hundred, no. 550 I'm sorry 550 pesos 550 pesos for each for, for, for two expats and you just put them down you know and I think they'll let you join that way too because you can have it put a second member on there so it's just that's just another way to save yourself some money or a neighbor or whatever if they want to join but like I said I had my, my, my girlfriend join because she might want to go alone or something like that or maybe I don't want to go she can she can she'll have her own card she's all she's all set to roll you know but anyway guys I hope you enjoyed that. I hope that helps a little bit. Um, I think the place is definitely going to help me in the future because I'm going to start shopping there next month. And what we're going to do is do maybe one run or two runs a month up up there and do some heavy duty shopping and freeze some of the stuff. I did see some ribeye steaks there, guys. Uh, grass fed New Zealand ribeye steaks. And it was like 10 for like, I believe it was um, 700 and... 42 pesos for 10, you know, Hamburg size ribeye steaks. And I was, when I was looking at them saying, wow, that's a deal. Cause I could eat one of those each night with a potato, corn, you know, and, and a drink. And that could be my meal. Cause I, I'm, I'm a big, you know, meat eater person. I like to have that with my vegetables, but I, I don't like to eat it too much. So the steaks are reasonably sized that could, you know, I could have a small meal or whatever. But anyway, God bless, guys. Take care. I hope that helps. Thanks, guys. Be sure to like and subscribe.